Hey, I'm Keith, and today we're talking motor enclosure basics. The right enclosure will protect the motor from contaminants in the environment and extend the life of the motor. After this video, you'll be able to search emotorsdirect.ca and filter by enclosure type with confidence. Shop trusted brands including Tico Westinghouse, Baldor, WEG, Leeson, and Marathon. Today, we'll discuss open drip proof, totally enclosed fan cooled, totally enclosed non-ventilated, and explosion proof. There are more than 10 different motor enclosures, but these are the most common. If you find this content helpful, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. This helps us grow our audience and reach new viewers. Open drip proof or ODP enclosures used to be the standard, but have been replaced by the TEFC. With an ODP enclosure, air from the outside of the motor can flow into the motor. The shaft mounted fan pulls air directly from the environment through the open vents in the motor's body, circulating it around the inside of the motor, over the stator and the rotor windings for cooling. So if you have a dusty environment, contaminants could get into your bearings and windings, causing all sorts of problems. ODPs are great for clean, dry indoor applications like equipment manufacturing. While relatively cheap, ODP enclosures don't offer much protection against airborne dust, moisture, and contamination. Operating them outdoors will quickly build corrosion and dirt inside the motor. If your ODP has been damaged from the outdoors, consider replacing the motor with a more suitable TEFC. The fans on the TEFC and ODP can get clogged from dirt and debris, and the fans could also spread around dirt. If you want to avoid this problem, go with a totally enclosed non-ventilated. Totally enclosed fan cooled or TFC is the current standard enclosure for most industrial applications. They're designed for dirty, wet or dusty areas. I see these used on pumps, fans and compressors. Totally enclosed means that there's no free exchange of air between the inside and the outside of the motor. Seals and gaskets prevent air from the outside of the motor entering the inside of the motor, protecting the motor's internals. The air inside the motor recirculates and is cooled by heat transfer through the frame. The external fan then cools the motor frame. One drawback of this design, the fan is turned by the shaft of the motor. So if you have a low speed, high torque application, your fan won't be spinning fast enough to properly cool the motor and it might overheat. Totally enclosed non-ventilated or TENV is similar to the TEFC, but there's no fan cooling system. There are no vents and it's not completely airtight. They're not waterproof and they won't work well in wet environments. You're typically going to see the TENV enclosures on small fractional horsepower motors, as the larger horsepower motors would quickly overheat without a cooling fan. You might also see TENV on some thousand to one turndown vector duty motors. Because turndown motors must be safely operated at one one thousandth of their base speed, they can't rely on shaft mounted fans for cooling. This makes the passive cooling of the TENV enclosure well suited for vector duty motors. The motor cools itself by releasing heat into the air. These have most of the protection of the TFC without the issue of moving dirt around with the fan. Explosion proof or XP enclosures are designed to contain an explosion inside the motor so that they don't ignite dangerous gases outside the motor, such as gasoline, ethanol, or methane. They have flame exhaust paths that dampen flames and allow hot gases to cool. Hazardous materials have what's called an auto ignition temperature, which is the minimum temperature that the materials will ignite independently. You wanna keep your motor cooler than the surrounding gases auto ignition temperature. Check out our video on hazardous locations for more info. Explosion proof motors may come in either TEFC or TENV. I see these used in oil and gas, chemical refining and mining environments where explosive materials are present. One way you can spot an explosion proof motor the connection box on the explosion proof is different than the other motors. All this said, there's another piece to the puzzle, the IP rating. We'll cover this in a separate video, linked in the description below. If you're having trouble deciding which enclosure you need for your application, leave me a comment below. Like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's largest motor search engine. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time.